Hello and welcome to Kakafina channel. My name is Oma and let's do some dragon skills nail art. Of course, this nail art is inspired by the House of the Dragon series and how convenient is that we have five main dragons for five fingers in the season finale. Naming by size, the smallest we have is Rhaenyra Syrax, which is mostly sand brown colored. Sea smoke looks very icy and pale. Daemon's Caraxes is red and I am fully convinced she is the wife of a donkey. Vermithor is bronze, and the biggest one is Aemon's Vagar, all in muddy green. So now that we all know what we are talking about, let's discuss the base colors I chose. By the way, I chose all base colors to have a shimmer, because when I imagine dragons, I think they should be very sparkly and fabulous, okay? Feel free to disagree with me in the comments below, but just know I am always right, just ask my husband. Now for Cyrax, I chose Holotaco's Sunshine Crush. I wanted to make Rhaenyra's dragon as close to the gold as possible, but not really entirely gold. This one looks quite orange in comparison to Cyrax, but when I later mixed in some white for highlights, it was perfect. For sea smoke, I chose Mooncat's petals for a narcissist, which turned out to be a bit too purple, so if you want to be very accurate, this nail polish isn't the best choice. But I was too lazy to redo it this time, so it is what it is, friends. For Caraxes, I chose Pandemonium by Mooncat. This is the brightest red I know. I feel like Daddy <coughs> Damon would approve. Anyways, for Vermithor, I chose The Trouble with Immortality by Mooncat. Very underrated polish with insanely beautiful sparkle that looks like champagne feels. Is it bronze? Not entirely, but I really love this shade, so I'm wearing it regardless. And finally, for Vagar, I chose Plankton. I know it's not as muddy as Mr. Dragon Vagar itself but I really just wanted to wear plankton. For the highlights and shadows, I added or mixed in a black, in this case Emo for Life by Mooncat, and white, just white by Essence Cosmetics. Now to the actual doing of the nail art, I actually needed a lot of patience and a lot of layers and prayers rather than actual skill, so a warning, just have some time if you attempt this yourself. Since our base colors are ready, I took a black eye Eyeliner and dotted around the imaginary scales the size I wanted them to be. The whole pattern is just very much diamond shaped, except I rounded the edges rather than going in straight. I think that gives a more dragony look to the dragon scales overall. To achieve a shadow like color, I mixed in a base shade with a bit of black to darken it up. This way, I didn't need to use any more shades, and the shadow I created also had some sparkle. Edward approved. The idea is very simple. Simple. Just fill in half of the scale with shadows and the other half with highlights. As you can see, I am just drawing straight lines to fill in the entire half of the scale. I am not overdoing it, just simple lines with a teeny tiny brush is good. Also, if you leave any spots not painted, it's okay, that is not a precise manicure, it's rather artsy. I did the same with the highlight just on the other half. To create a highlighter color, I simply mixed my base color with white. As you can see, this is very much trust the process, so bear with me, friends. Since I wanted scale edges to be as thin as possible, I dabbled into some black nail polish again and connected all the dots, creating already very obvious scales. Does it have to be black? Absolutely not. In my case, I could have taken a very dark green and it also would have been perfect edge of the scale. Just remember, the world is your ostrich or something. Throughout the process, I noticed that we lost some of the sparkles so I dipped in some plankton and drew a few lines at the tip of the scales, one from the left and one from the right connecting them in the middle. I also tried to make them as thin as possible since it's a small itsy bitsy nail and not a huge piece of paper or something. Then I realized we need more shadows from the base of the scales to make the scales appear as though they cast shadow on other scales. So I mixed a similar shadow shade with the base color and black and and applied it in a more round manner at every base of the scale. Because I would imagine this is how the shade from the scales would fall. I am only the world's first green color expert and not an arts expert, but I think this is looking very nice. But we needed the last touch, for that I added a very bright highlight with pure white. Again, I went as thin as possible, also at the tip of the scale, only on the side of the highlighted scale.
scale naturally and logically. I also added some random dots here and there to pretend I know what I am doing when in fact I don't. The story of my life. Anyways, if you are still here, I decided to finish off the nail art and added a glossy top coat. This could be an endless process for perfectionists, so I'll stop you here. These beautiful shots were taken under the sun so you could see what I meant when I said I wanted my dragons to look sparkly. Since my nail shape is rounded with a sharper tip, I think it's only suitable to call my nails dragon eggs right now. So, my ex took around an hour to make and you can see it got progressively worse when my patience ran out. Fun fact, dragon eggs are also done on my nails by the size of the dragon, so that's why for bigger I did a thumbnail and C-Rex is the smallest on my pinky and so on. Also symbolically, it looks even better since Vega is separated from the rest as its master is beefing with the other dragon riders. Canonically correct nail art you're welcome. Anyways, subscribe and have a wonderful season finale. Bye!